Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up for the episode. I'm RJ. I have a huge question for you guys today. Is a Battle Royale mode coming to Grand Theft Auto V Online? At first, you might think that it is impossible. Rockstar already has enough problems trying to run a 30-person lobby, let alone maybe 50 players or hopefully 100 players, all battling for the top spot. But this is a mode that is so popular. We're talking about the number one stream all time on Twitch, huge numbers. And Rockstar probably wants a piece of that pie. I can imagine that a lot of their sales are going to Fortnite right now. And they're probably like, what the heck? I thought we had the online game on lock. That is not the case, but they have a chance. There's probably going to be one more massive expansion before Red Dead Redemption 2. And as of right now, there's actually a strong rumor saying that Red Dead Redemption 2 will have Battle Royale. I think it's a good time to implement that into Grand Theft Auto V. If they also add drivable UFOs and some more vehicles that we've been wanting in GTA Online, they add that with the new Battle Royale mode, hopefully 100 people lobbies, this would be something that could possibly get some of the attention away from Fortnite. So we'll talk a little bit about it. There's definitely some serious questions here and I want to get your take. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about a Battle Royale mode coming to Grand Theft Auto V. Is it impossible? I think that this is such a popular mode that Rockstar can make it happen. Let's get into it, guys. Fortnite is getting more and more popular every day. They even just released an iOS version and people are messaging me to download that. I guess it does help that the game is free. That's another question. Can a Grand Theft Auto game ever be free? Considering how much money they make off of shark cards, it's almost a way to guarantee that every gamer download the game. Why not? If it's free, why not try it? Well anyways, we have this new popular Twitch streamer, Ninja. He teamed up with Drake and that is just the beginning guys. Fortnite can get more and more popular. Check this out. Drizzy playing Fortnite with Ninja. Are you kidding me? So there's probably a lot of sales that used to go to Grand Theft Auto Online. All of these just casual gamers who would log into GTA Online and buy all of the new stuff. A lot of those gamers, I guarantee you, have moved on to games like Fortnite. So with one more expansion coming to Grand Theft Auto V, I think that they have a chance to possibly add their new twist on the game mode. It could happen, guys. One of the first things that I think of that makes Fortnite so popular is the map. So is the San Andreas map too big? I don't think it is, considering you would have vehicles as part of the gameplay in a Grand Theft Auto Online environment, it really would give you a chance to go in towards the circle and of course all end up at some random place in the middle of the map, perhaps at the prison, at the observatory, a perfect way to showcase some of the more infamous locations in the map. You'd have to find a vehicle, there would be balancing, so you know there wouldn't be every vehicle in the game. Maybe some people find a tank, others find a cheetah. Not only is Rockstar going to have to up the ante, taking it from 30 people to either 50 or hopefully 100, but if they could somehow add animals into Grand Theft Auto Online for the first time, then that would introduce some first time aspects to the Battle Royale formula. If you have a cougar that is also after you on top of all kinds of tryhards, it really would make GTA 5 stand up against a game like Fortnite where you can build a fort. In this game, you can take that tank and blow up pretty much anything that's in front of you. A few people have reached out to me telling me that the map is too big, maybe they would have to cut it in half or something, but considering there's so many epic locations in the game, if the circle ended up on the observatory or maybe even somewhere like the pier, think about the situations that it would bring up. That would be amazing, guys. So the next thing that I want to bring up, of course, is weapons. They have snipers, they have pretty much everything that you see in Fortnite and PUBG. So they already have all that in place. So you have the weapons in place, you have the vehicles in place, and you have the locations. The only thing that is missing is the amount of players that can actually take part in the online session. So let's look at the current attempt at a Battle Royale mode in Grand Theft Auto Online. I know some people have been trying it out, but considering it's not popular at all, it probably is nothing compared to Fortnite or even PUBG. Here's the wiki page for Motor Wars. It is the PUBG influence game mode that was added to Grand Theft Auto Online back in Smuggler's Run. It says two to four teams parachute into a post-apocalyptic war zone with nothing but a pistol and a serious shopping list. So that sounds okay, but right off the bat, two to four teams is not enough. 
That's one of the things that makes Fortnite so special, the fact that you have 100 players entering into one island and only one, two, or maybe four people come out alive. It truly is intense, and again, I think it could be recreated and possibly even better in Grand Theft Auto V. It could be something truly unique. So it says, blending the adrenaline rush of drop zone with the claustrophobic tension of a match of penned in. This brutal adversary mode is a deadly scavenger hunt where second place is not an option. So this was actually created with PUBG in mind. But the one thing that Fortnite does so different is that it is way more action packed. And that is something that GTA 5 can definitely recreate. So here's the arsenal. They have a lot of things in mind that I do. Animals or just something new to the mix. In this last expansion before Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, it would be perfect timing. They can fix it and make it perfect just in time for Red Dead Redemption 2 where the real Rockstar Battle Royale mode can be introduced. I still think GTA 5 can do it a lot better because in Red Dead Redemption 2, you won't find a Hydra. Another thing that really makes me raise my eyebrows is that the upcoming definitive version of Grand Theft Auto 5 that's been rumored for a while keeps getting pushed back. So apparently this is going to be a premium copy that will basically replace the main version of GTA 5 that's been out for years. I think that they are pushing that back for the last GTA Online update and they need something big to get it back in the news again. Not only will they have to add drivable UFOs and some of the things that they've been holding out on us, I think if they also add this brand new Battle Royale mode, it is the best timing to get everyone back into Grand Theft Auto Online again. They were probably being a little bit lazy because so many online players would just log in and play GTA Online because it was the best thing going. Well, now there's strong competition and a lot of money is being taken away from Rockstar because people would rather buy a new avatar in Fortnite. I just think it makes the most sense for them to bring the new game mode, Fortnite-style Battle Royale, to GTA Online. The one thing that could put GTA Online back in the limelight. Keep in mind that Fortnite started off everyone versus NPCs, zombies, that type of thing. And then they put in Battle Royale simply because PUBG was so popular and everybody is playing that mode. Rockstar needs to take a look at that formula and repeat it here in Grand Theft Auto V. I believe the timing is right. Again, the biggest question is if Rockstar could actually pull off something like this in GTA Online. We complain enough about it as it is, but I do think it's possible, guys. Let me know what you think. Another reason why this would be a complete genius move by Rockstar is that all this would exist in its own separate lobby. So players would be able to fly the DeLorean, maybe find the Stromberg or the Jetpack, and then they would want to buy that stuff for their online character, another way to generate more sales. That's probably what they're looking to do, sell more shark cards. They would give players an opportunity to drive some of the rarest vehicles, but they would not be comfortable while they were driving them. Everyone would be out to get them, so I think that would entice people, man overboard! If you guys have yet to play the game, Fortnite really brings these epic moments that GTA can't pull off, but it does bring some haters because of the cartoony graphics. So that is why I think that Grand Theft Auto could take those players that aren't into the graphical style of Fortnite. Maybe they're more into PUBG, but of course those guys would be more likely to play a Grand Theft Auto 5 version with all the same rules, except, you know, we can't build a fort. That's not going to come until Grand Theft Auto 6. Is there anything else that you can think of that would make a true Battle Royale mode in GTA Online impossible? Maybe you'd prefer it without the vehicles or no animals unlike myself. For me, the true test for Rockstar is if they can make the lobby with more than 30 people. You would hope that they are making enough money off of shark cards that they can make this happen with strong rumors telling us that it is going to be in Red Dead Redemption 2. Summer is when they have to at least test it in GTA Online first. But again, I really want to hear from you. We have a huge live stream coming up. We're about to defeat Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and we're going to do it in one massive marathon live stream. So don't miss that. Hit the notification button. It'll let you know whenever Trippy Commentaries goes live. With all that said, much love. Thanks for checking out the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another new episode tomorrow. But as always, more importantly, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.